Sabbath. September 1939, the German forces defeated the Polish army in two weeks. Jews were ordered to register all family members and relocate to major cities. More than 10,000 Jews from the countryside arrived in Krakow daily. Name? Horowitz Salomon. Registering so many people. Here, do you know who that man is? I don't know. Where do I know this song from? This is like a super famous song, isn't it? Bring them over a round of drinks. Did he like that blonde girl? Sweetheart, you're the picture of loneliness. Smooth moves. French, about the uh, Chateau Lotus, 28, 29. He's obviously like super wealthy. <laughs> he totally walked her out of the photo. The Jewish council comprised of 24 elected Jews personally responsible for carrying out the orders of the regime in Krakow, such as drawing up lists for work details, food and housing, a place to lodge complaints. Rabbi, Private property cannot be confiscated. Be I do not know. They come into our house and tell us we don't live there anymore. It's like strip you of everything. Oh yeah, because everyone's wearing their stars. Are you Itzhak Stern or not? I am. By law, I have to tell you, sir, I'm a Jew. <gasps> I'm a German. So there we are. You can make a fortune, don't you think? I think most people right now have other priorities. Mm -hmm. In fact, the worse things get, the better you'll do. You must have contacts in the Jewish business community working here. What community? Jews can no longer yeah, own businesses. they've business. been stripped of everything. They wouldn't own it. I'd own it. I'd pay them back in product, pots and pans. If you want, you could run the company for me. Hmm. I do all the work. What if you don't mind my asking what you do? Getting them to work for you so you can make money. I'm sure I don't know anybody who'll be interested in this. Well, they should be. It's extra. Was that like a way to figure out who was Jewish? By discerning how they look? The German army wants to find out where it came from. <gasps> I'm going to make sure they find out. No, it's your problem. Oh. Hello. Do you know where I can find a nice shirt like that? Is everyone piecing it on purpose? We're here to pray. I'm going to need some other things too as things come up. March 20th, 1941, deadline for entering the ghetto. All Jews from Krakow and surrounding areas are forced. I didn't finish reading that. This would just be absolutely terrifying. You're stripped of everything you own, you have nothing, and then you're forced into horrible living conditions. Get all your money taken from you, everything. And there's people watching you as you pack up to leave. This is obviously the right place, how are you doing? They move Germans into their houses. Is that his new home? Oh my God. The contrast of these two scenes interconnected are very powerful. How on earth could it possibly be worse? Six other families coming in to live with you? No living space? I'm a policeman now, could you believe it? I know it's hard to believe. Oh no, it's not hard to believe. No, oh, so he works for the Germans to police his own people. You look like a clown, you <laughs> Oh, he got some people for him. Not good enough. Money still money. Hmm. No, it is not. That's why we're here. Trade goods. That's the only currency that'll be worth anything in the ghetto. <gasps> Fair would be a percentage on the company. Jewish people are great business people. The Jewish worker's salary. You pay it directly to the SS, not to the worker. He gets nothing. Those cost more. Why should I hire both? 
Oh, man. It's outside the ghetto, so you can barter for extra goods, for eggs. I don't know what you need. Schindler. You need to convince them you have a trade, something valuable to the war effort. Like what? Here, your name goes on a list and they put you on trucks. I'd find a good hiding place if I were you. <gasps> Going to hide like some animal? There are places to hide. I used to work at the hydroelectric station in Rosnov. Blauschein. Then you'll get a blue card, the Blauschein, to say that you are an essential worker. Need some shoe polish? <gasps> no Blauschein, sir. Stand over there. I teach history and literature. He's metal polisher. He's 53 years old. It's too new. Oh, he's like changing all the documents. Crazy, you left it in your drawer. Because they're shipping people away already? I'm a metal polisher. I have uh, 10 work permits here for the Deutsche Enamel Fabrik. Moses is a skilled metal worker. He <laughs> He's like, stop telling them that you're musicians and writers. <laughs> Allow me just to represent you and speak for you. Don't say a word. Oh, no. He choose all of them? <laughs> He is a ladies' man, for sure. A full line of field and kitchenware, unsurpassable in all respects by my competitors. Photo from the beginning. My father was fond of saying you need three things in life and a clever accountant. Just pretend, for Christ's sake. Mm. I'm trying to thank you. The usual thing would be to acknowledge my gratitude. That must be so hard. You're welcome. Get out of here. You're just profiting off of all of this. Lunovska, who is it? Is this his wife? And it was not a mistress? You've done well here. Be careful of the step, miss. Mrs. Schindler Marek. <laughs> uh. I won't soon forget the name Schindler here. He did something no one else did. And see now, it wasn't me that failed. Something was missing. Whoa. Is she not mad at him? <laughs> he had, had a mistress. Unless they have some sort of arrangement. Promise me, Oscar. No dual man or maitre d' will ever presume I'm anyone other than Mrs. Schindler. And I'll stay. <laughs> Bye, darling. He didn't promise her. Better this month than last? Yes. Any reason to think next month will be worse? The war could end. Mm. Sir Ben Kinsley is so powerful in this movie. He doesn't even speak, and he speaks volumes. <gasps> I want to thank you, sir. So you only have one arm? That's great, thanks. God bless you, sir. He saved my life. God bless him. This is for his niece, Greta. It's her birthday. By the Greta way, Essendale. don't ever do that to me again. I noticed that that man had one arm. Did he? Very useful. Success. We'll be late for work. <gasps> They're going to work, though. National priority that Jews be made to shovel snow. Oh, no, but what about the guy with the one arm? <gasps> Come with me. Look at the snow, look at the snow. <laughs> You're so sweet, oh my god. Armed machinist, quite skilled. It's a bouch there. Oh no. It will follow you later. My plant manager is somewhere on this train. If it leaves with him on it, it'll disrupt production. Oh no. There's nothing I can do. <gasps> oh no. You'll both be in southern Russia before the end of the month. <laughs> well, he's a schmooze and he's friends with all the like military leaders and stuff. Stan! It's hot, Stan! <gasps> oh, they <laughs> went with them. No. Maybe he didn't get on the train. Maybe he. Stan! It's Stan! Look at the barbed wire on those. Stan! <gasps> Stop the train! Stop the train! Oh my god, he just saved his life. I somehow left my work card at home. <gasps> what if I got here five minutes later? Then where would I be? Oh my good lord. Oh no, are they just gonna burn their suitcases? They're just going through all their stuff and... <gasps> 
Oh my god. Liquidation. <laughs> All the pictures. <laughs> I treated like nothing, treated like they're worthless, all because of what they believed in. <laughs> Jewish town, Krakow, ghetto, winter 42. The ghetto is liberty. Doesn't this just make you so mad? <laughs> yeah, I was top down, I'm fucking freezing. Yeah, the ghetto must not smell great because their living conditions. Forced labor camp. It's like literally the epitome of cruelty. The epitome of evil. Which of you has um, a domestic experience? Yeah, on second thoughts, I don't really want someone else's maid. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh, sorry, you can't handle the smell. Fucking bitch engineer. You fucking bitch! I'm a graduate of civil engineering. Oh, I'm educated too. Should have. <gasps> no. Trying to do my job. Yeah, I'm doing mine. I can't. I literally can't. It will take more than that. I'm sure you're right. Get down, report it, rebuild it, like she said. Fuck you. <laughs> For six centuries, there has been a Jewish cracker. By this evening, that never happened. Pure evil. The liquidation of the ghetto. He's like all my workers. These poor people. Hiding all of their jewelry and bread. They're eating it. Wow. Oh. Sicko. Innocent people. <laughs> oh, the slaughter is just so unbearable. Some things, nothing bigger I can't than this. go in the sewers. I told you I won't go in the sewers. They must. I wonder how many people got out in the sewers. Your car Oh no, did he forget his card again? Don't you dare. <gasps> Are they trying to kill them before they're shot? Oh man, the choices that people had to go through to just stay alive. Man to right, women to the left. Left, left. Man to the right. <laughs> Can you imagine being separated from family and the people you love? <laughs> no. <laughs> Executed all of them. How does she know about the sewers? I can fit the girl, but not you. <gasps> Where you are. Oh wow, look how smart they were to be able to pull the line for the rug. He's trying to clear the road for them. I've been given orders to clear the bundles from the road. <gasps> Polish clicking soldier. <laughs> wow, he bought himself some time. <gasps> Please hide. <gasps> oh my god. Hide. I've searched the building. There's no one here. Oh no. She left the hiding spot. Come with me. I will put you in the good line. What are you gonna do about it, Schindler? Can you just stand and watch this? This music. Let's go, please. Oh, the little sweetheart. <gasps> oh no, they're trying to listen for them. Don't get out. No. Stay hidden. <gasps> I wish this 
Fucking that will open. You wish it was over? Really don't feel bad for you. Shooting this movie in black and white is extremely powerful. None of his workers. The worst is over. We are workers now. I'm sick to my stomach. Shooting anybody that's not working or moving. Sick bastard. Wicky, wicky. Got a lot of words about that guy. I'm not gonna say on the internet. How are you doing? Oscar Schindler. I have to know, where'd you get a suit like that? I'd say I'd get you one, but the man who made it is probably dead. Every day that goes by, I'm losing money. None of this is going to matter. It's bad business. I love how he shot this with them sitting facing each other. Lena, thank you. He said thank you to her. What you want is your own sub camp. You could make things easier for me. I'd be grateful. Very stern. Make sure I see my cut from the um, factory owners in this camp. Mm. Care of my main account, the Schindler <gasps> account. Look at me. <laughs> Don't forget who you are working for now. We need more wine! I'm so unimpressed right now. I'm so mad. Yeah. Makes them think we have lice. <gasps> Record payoffs to the main administration and economics office, the armaments slowly board. Stand, slowly. I couldn't get you out of here. I'll be all right. I look in on you, see how you're doing. Put these in your pocket. Come on. Herr Director, don't let things fall apart. I work too hard. <sighs> Good luck. What were all those cobblestones? Are they like tombstones? Make me a hinge. Yes, sir. He's timing him. He's really good at making it. You've been working since six this morning. Yet such a small pile of hinges. <gasps> oh Christ. This poor man. That my heap of hinges was so unsatisfactory because the machines were being recalibrated this morning. I was put on to shoveling coal. Oh man, oh my gosh, he was so lucky. What was happening to those guns? And thank God they didn't work. Stern has been such an amazing help to his people. What a savior. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. They moved him. A man walks around with a chicken and nobody notices this. It was you. No, sir. But you know who, though. Him! Now, is this true, or is this kid just being super smart? German children just, like, playing these stupid games. They're, like, lust for power. It's disgusting. I promise to learn everything there is to know about enamelware production. That's great. Miss Elsa Kraft, I only need five wants minutes. to speak to the hair director. They say that no one dies here. They say your factory is a haven. They say you are good. I've been living in Krakow and false papers since the ghetto massacre. My parents are in Brasov. Kana and Jakob Perlman. They are killing older people now in Brasov. Please bring them here. I don't do that. Cry and I will have you arrested. People die. It's a fact of life. He wants to kill everybody. Great. What am I supposed to do about it? You think I don't know what you're doing? Are you losing money? No, I'm not losing money. That's not the point. It's dangerous to me. You have to understand, Gert is under enormous pressure. And he's got the war, which brings out the worst in people. Never the good. Always the bad. In normal circumstances, he wouldn't be like this. He'd be all right, making money, killing. The Yeski told me the other day somebody escaped. Gert lined up everybody from the missing command's barracks. He walked down the line shooting every other man with a pistol. 25. What do you want me to do about it? Nothing, nothing. Let's just talk. Well, man. Husband and wife. He's gonna help them. 
Goldberg bring them over. Imagine all the people that had to like lie and change their hair color and have different papers just to like live amongst them so they could like, stay alive. Inglishek to find something to clean the stains from the hair commandant's bathtub. Don't have to report to me, Helen. It's her living area. I'm Schindler. I get extra food here. Well, if you don't want to eat it, trade it. He beat me because I threw out the bones from dinner. I know your sufferings, Helen. He drew his gun and he shot a woman who was passing by. I couldn't guess what had she done. She didn't do anything. See, there is no set of rules that you can live by. He enjoys you so much he won't even let you wear the star. The woman from the steps because she meant nothing to him. <laughs> wow. So much strength. That you have to have to get through this so much hope you have to hold on to so schindler what are you gonna do about it do more oh he's drunk <laughs> you're never drunk that's real control control is power power is when we have every justification to kill and we don't hmm is he trying to get through to him talk sense to him so he stops killing people i don't think it's gonna work that's power Emma. wow I bought you. <laughs> wow, those two together. Such a powerful scene. I don't know, but they're in my office right now reviewing our books. Uh-oh. Needn't be alarmed. <gasps> you know how much this saddle is worth? Who cares? Poor thing. All right. Oh, they're saying hi to each other. Teeter-totters for the kids. That's kind of nice. Oh, oh no. Tell her not to do it again. <gasps> Schindler did get through to him. What? I thought it was gonna make him worse. I've been unable to remove the stains from your bathtub. Go ahead, go and leave. Leave, I pardon you. Look how he sit, stands with his belly out. That's really interesting. Oh, sweet thing. Was he a changed man? I don't think so. But maybe he wants to be more like Schindler. I pardon you. <gasps> he wants to be seen more like a god. Don't you dare shoot him. <sighs> oh, they're getting married. <laughs> Keeping their traditions in like the most grim of circumstances and they're still together as a community and keeping their humanity. <gasps> you really are a wonderful cook and a well-trained servant. If you need a reference after the war, I'd be, be happy to give you one. Ew, look at him. Look at him using his power. Helen is always the right answer. <sighs> I would like so much to touch you in your loneliness. And I, I realize that you're not a, a person in the, the strictest sense of the word, but when they compare you to, to a vermin and to a rodent and to lice, that's not a Jew eyes. It's absolutely terrifying. You're a Jewish bitch. You nearly talked me into it. I wish for you a happy birthday. <gasps> oh my gosh, people can't believe he's doing this. Thank you very much. Look at that one woman's face. I mean, that's amazing that he did that in front of people to show them that they're good people. SS gave them, so he told them to breathe all the time because it's good for disinfecting, and then they gassed them. <gasps> what sense does it make to kill your own workforce? They got to separate the sick from the healthy to make room. Yeah, because they want to look healthy. Because there would be so much sickness in there too. Great, because you're so malnourished and everything. Oh. 
using their blood. I didn't know that before. My mechanic, whose bright idea was it to get rid of him? It's so unfair. Malnourish them, don't feed them, make them work, put them in terrible living conditions, who would probably be totally healthy, and then you also just deem them unhealthy. children. I'm telling you, they're hiding. I, know. I wish they could get away. He has nowhere to hide. What a brave little guy. Oh my god. Oh, he's hiding in the toilets. Get out. This is our place. Get out. No, let him stay. That's your little buddy. Didn't you call me? No, I tried to call you. Yeah, no, you didn't. Oh, another beautiful day. It's not a beautiful day at all. It's so hot in there. So many people are so crowded. Oh, the pain and suffering is just unbearable. What do you say we get your fire hoses out here and hose down the cars? Thank you. I mean, he's doing the best he can, I guess, to help people because he doesn't want to get killed. You're giving them hope. That's cruel. Every time the train stops, you open the doors, you give them water. Is he realizing what he's doing? Uh-oh. <gasps> Is he putting him in jail? I kissed a Jewish girl. <gasps> Not funny. He likes good-looking women. Oh, he didn't tell on him he has his back? She was Jewish. He shouldn't have done it, but you didn't see this girl. He's not having any of it. They cast a spell on you, you know, the Jews. <gasps> That's not just good old fashioned you hating talk. It's policy now. Sickening. <gasps> I just realized it's the ashes. 10,000 Jews. It's literally snowing ashes of all the people. And they're making them bury them. If I don't have enough to do, they come up with this. Closing us down, sending everybody to Auschwitz. <gasps> oh man, the symbolism of all the blood loss and the slaughter <laughs> and her innocence. Oh my god. <laughs> that little girl. I made good promise me he'll put in a good word for you. The directives coming in from Berlin mention special treatment more and more often. I'd like to think that's not what you mean. Of course, you'll have to hire new workers. Poles, I guess, they cost a little more, but what are you going to do? You ran my business. And I've done what I came here for. I've got more money than any man can spend in a lifetime. Some day, this is all going to end. I was going to say we'll have a drink then. I think I better have it now. Oh, <gasps> dear. Wow. Is that the train? interesting song to put to this scene. Yeah, look at all his money. You want these people? These people. My people. I want my people. I'll compensate you. Yeah, that's right. It's good for the army. Mm, he's trying to save them. What's a person worth? No, 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 no. What's one worth to you? Mila, Pfefferberg. Yeah, at least he remembers a lot of their names. All the children. How many is he going to be able to save? Is that his briefcase full of money? How many? 600. Is he trying to go around to get more people to convince them to help get the workers out? <laughs> you smoke, I smoke half. That was nice. He had a little laugh there. I can't do it anymore. I will not accept that. Come on. That's it. You can finish that page. Find them, you're banging for each of these names. If you 
were still working for me, I'd expect you to talk me out of it. Finish the page and leave one space at the bottom. For him. The list is life. Oscar, there's a, a clerical error here at the bottom of the last page. No, there's one more name I want to put there. No. Oh. One hand of 21. <gasps> if I win, the gold is on my list. Not got Auschwitz. I'd never do that to her. Want her to um, come back to Vienna with me. Oh, he's shaking in his boots. He can't handle it. You can't take her to Vienna with you. She'll take her into the woods and shoot her painlessly in the back of the head. He's so, so gross. 14,800. Now her son. Adam Levy. Oh, that was the kid. Adam. Helena Hirsch. <gasps> Helena. He won the card game. I think as sad as the lists are and were as really powerful of the hearing of all the names in this movie. Wonderful, Ollie. Schindler. The train with the women has already left Pueschoff and will be arriving here very shortly. Where hot soup and bread is waiting for you. I like caviar. Oh, oh no. Are they on the wrong train? How did this happen? It must be so terrifying. This happened. Uh, where are we? You're in hell. The train was never routed here. A paperwork. <gasps> Is he gonna get there in time? Is he gonna get there in time? so terrifying because they've heard all the stories <gasps> they did get a shower there but then they were sending the other people in we work for Oskar Schindler we are Schindler Jews who is Oskar Schindler <gasps> he had a factory in Krakow it is not my task to interfere with the processes that take place down here. I'm protected by powerful friends. I do not say I'm accepting them. <laughs> oh my gosh. I have a shipment coming in tomorrow. I'll cut you 300 units from it. New ones. I want these. Mm -hmm. You shouldn't get stuck on names. Oh, oh my gosh, he, he got them out. Oh, he's taking the children. No, no. Hey, what are you doing? They're scale of munitions workers, they're essential. He made it in time. Their fingers polish the insides of shell metal cases. <sighs> he saved them. He ended up going there to like overlook everything to make sure he got them. <sighs> I honestly, I don't know how he pulled that off. I, mean, I know he bribed that guy and stuff, but like I thought they were dying. <sighs> wow. Under department. W provisions, it is unlawful to kill a worker without just cause. There will be no summary executions here. Hopes of ensuring that guards will no longer be allowed on the factory floor. Wow. For your cooperation, you have my gratitude. Huh. Did he go home to his wife? No doorman or maitre d will ever mistake you again. He is literally a changed man. We've received an angry complaint from the armaments board. There's a rumor you've been going around miscalibrating the machines. <gasps> they could shut us down, send us back to Auschwitz. Stan, if this factory ever produces a shell that can actually be fired, I'd be very unhappy. That's why those guns weren't working before. 
How are you doing, Rabbi? Rabbi! What's the matter with you? You should be preparing for the Sabbath. Shouldn't you? Tradition. During this same period, he spent millions of candles, hope, meaning. Do you have any money hidden away someplace that I don't know about? No. <gasps> Why? Am I broke? Uh. <laughs> Yesterday morning at 2:41 a.m., signed the act of unconditional surrender. Of all German land, the German war is therefore at an end. I think it's time the guards came into the factory. At midnight tonight, the war is over. Tomorrow, you'll begin the process of looking for survivors of your families. In most cases, you won't find them. After six long years of murder, victims are being mourned throughout the world. Many of you have come up to me and thanked me. Thank yourselves. Thank your fearless stern. I'm a member of the Nazi party. At midnight, you'll be free, and I'll be hunted. I shall remain with you until five minutes after midnight, and I hope you'll forgive me. I have to flee. I know you have received orders from our commandant to dispose of the population of this camp. Or you could leave and return to your families as men instead of murderers. Oh. This guy, what is this guy gonna do? God. In memory of the countless victims among your people, I ask us to observe three minutes of silence. Thank you, Mr. Yell. What are they doing? As soon as peace occurs, I want, I want that cloth distributed to the workers. Also, each person is to get a bottle of vodka. They won't drink it. They know its value. It'll be done, everything you ask. We've written a letter trying to explain things in case you were captured. <gasps> Every worker has signed it. <gasps> oh, they're giving it to him. <sighs> the generosity these people have after all they've endured. Talmud, it says, whoever saves one life, saves the world entire. He's having so many regrets. This pin. Two people. You would have given me one. One more. One more person. <laughs> and I didn't. <laughs> I, I, I didn't. Hugging him. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> He's in. You have been liberated! Have you been in Poland? Are there any Jews left? Where should we go? 
Don't go east. They hate you there. I wouldn't go west either, if I were you. Isn't that a town over there? Hitler. Our gun crimes against humanity. Oscar Schindler failed, but his marriage and several business after the war. <laughs> Planted tree in the avenue of the right righteous. It grows there still. Wow. <laughs> oh, the color. Oh my god, that was beautiful. That was so beautiful. It's them with all the, the people that acted them. Oh. Is Mr. Stern not still alive? There are fewer than 4,000 Jews left alive in Poland today. There are more than 6,000 descendants of the Schindler Jews. Rose. In memory of the more than six million Jews murdered, that was him putting the rose 